Penny, quotation bullet inspectors. Everything you're about to see was caught by Bama Bell Paranormal Investigations. So I hope you enjoy it and have a good time. <laughs> Here it is, Mama. Sarah Taylor, born September 14th, 1752, died July 3rd, 1837. That sounds hollow. Yeah, maybe it is slight because it's very brutal. It'd be a pretty countertop. Yeah, yes. it Oh, I love your countertops. Where'd you get them? From the graveyard <laughs> down the road. <laughs> um, it's called Bass Cemetery. But this this is a very old cemetery. This is one of the original first cemeteries in Jefferson County. And Man, it is ice cold in this cemetery. I wish I had brought my jacket. So uh, this is the guy that the cemetery was named after. His name is Burwell Bass. He died in 1831. He was a Revolutionary War soldier. Revolutionary War soldier. He died in 1831. What? <laughs> Light him up. There you go. Montezuma Goodwin, 1865 to 1904. This is the guy that was murdered by his brother-in-law. This is his wife, Alice Goodwin. She died literally four days after the Titanic sank. He died ten years before the Titanic ever sailed. People think that he's one of the people that haunts his best. Okay, so, yeah, okay, people believe that he's one of the ghosts here. Over here, I can smell flowers. But I couldn't smell anywhere else. I think it's crazy that you say that because when I was here the other day in two separate What's places right it smelled like wisteria but there's no wisteria like right here I don't smell anything but yeah but when I'm over here but beside him I smelt it Thomas. <laughs> yeah. Thomas so this is husband and wife <laughs> Slave. 
The reflection. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a reflection. That. How dark it is. There's it's got that little light prick right there. I don't know if you can see that. That little dot of light. That is a solar like light on someone's grave. There's definitely this weird smell over here that I don't think it's not anywhere else. That smell of flowers? It's not, but it's like a it's like the smell of an old lady. Like I smell mothballs. it. Yeah. That flowers don't smell like mothballs. Mm -mm. It smells like an old person's house. Mothballs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I smell it. But if you walk away, I don't smell it. Huh. We're cold. We're tired. We're going home. <laughs> it's dark. We'll catch y'all next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, what is up? Happy Friday the 13th. I am coming to you back from Bass Cemetery. This cemetery is definitely one of folklore that has just been around for as long as I can remember. I've heard of stories from this cemetery dating back as early as the mid 1800s I've been drawn like when I got here I was immediately drawn to that side of the cemetery where I parked and this little trail right here for a car I didn't even know was here because it's grown up I'm kind of like drawn in this direction so let's find out why you're probably wondering why am I doing this during the day? When it comes to things that are haunted, there are gonna be more haunted times of the day. Like some haunts will happen at a specific time, say somebody was murdered at 9.15 at night and something might happen in the area they were murdered at 9.15 every night or on the same night of the year. But typically, especially in an intelligent haunt, it's gonna be any time of the day. It doesn't matter. It's only the residual hauntings that play like a record that they're gonna be at the specific time of the day. You existed just like you watching this exist. And as long as we keep everybody in our hearts, they will always exist. And everyone's legacies will continue to go on. So it's, it's very important for us who are alive to keep all of our ancestors and everybody alive here. Let's ask them questions. Are there any spirits here with me today? Yep. Yeah? Tom? I sound like either a Todd or a Tom. Keep hearing it. Do you keep hearing it? Can you tell me what year you died? More foot sounds there. 1782 to 1866. Man. If headstones could talk, I would sit and listen forever. This is Shiloh Cemetery. It was established in 1820. It has an old church the church was built about 
1820 as well. Um, it's not used anymore. It's just abandoned, but they take care of it. And the road in front of the cemetery and the church is an old stagecoach road. Um, there are Confederate soldiers buried here, which is just freaking cool in my opinion. Those are cool. Oh, you can almost see in that one. That's a little creepy. Yeah, now I'm good. <laughs> I wouldn't mind roaming this cemetery at night. That would be fun. The pastor there was kind enough at nighttime to take me and my friends through the cemetery giving us a ghost tour and I if it's the same guy I'm gonna ask him again be like hey do you mind doing this and letting me record it what what's in there oh that's cool why am I whispering I don't know <laughs> Eighteen seventy-five to nineteen oh four. Confederate States Army. Right there. There's talks about this tunnel being haunted by John Henry and there's a report of somebody saying that there's even old tools from like the 1920s of around the time the race would have happened still inside the tunnel and we're going to be really careful today because it's still an active train track and well you know how bad that can go <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> that was from inside the tunnel. If there is anybody in this tunnel, can you please state your name for me? Sorry for the short video, guys, that I wanted to I wanted to share this adventure with everyone. What was that? It was like we started leaving. It was like, no. Alright, we're leaving now. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Sounds like someone's walking around. Right? That's not water dripping, that's footsteps. <laughs> Baby, I hear a train. <laughs> Okay guys, sorry for that quick cut off. Um, I thought I heard a train. It was that really low rumbling in the background. And so just to be safe, we kind of took off running. Hello again. This cemetery right here, it's not just Fraternal Cemetery, it's Greenwood Foley Fraternal Cemetery. This is probably the one that I will bring everybody to the most. My husband actually has family buried here, so I can use that excuse. <laughs> I don't know if there's a grave in there or not. I know I'm not going to try it out. <laughs> Lord knows I'll fall through it. That's the last thing I want right now. I like cemeteries. I don't do dead bodies. I'm good. Foley. This is the grave 
of the man that the cemetery is named after. James Kirk. Too bad that middle name isn't Tiberius. And yes, I am a Trekkie. I grew up on Star Trek, thanks to my dad. Here, there's two of them. Woodmen of the world. Uh, I can't quite read that right here. Something brown, 1862 to 1902. That, that's a heck of a headstone. I mean, that thing is taller than me by at least a foot and a half. And there's another one down there. I don't have anything to steal my cameras. There we go. Going really fast earlier, and that one was going like this. Going around, had it. She can sit at home in comfort and still be like she's there. <laughs> God, that is a heck of a view. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you, Mom. That's what I'm That was crazy. You turned it off. Huh. Do you not want us filming your balloon? Okay. I am with us before we leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shadow figure that was once caught up by the lockers. Yes. That was impressive. Thank you. Do you like me? Do you like me? Yeah, 
devil? Who's the devil? Who's the devil? Are still some people in here. If you might hear them in the background. What is your name? My name is Elizabeth. Can you say my name? getting some great EVPs in here earlier. Is the Cherokee man still in here with us? That was somebody in the background. Can you please tell us your name? Today, I'm at a little cemetery called Hodges Cemetery. 
it's a very small cemetery. What you see on the screen is it. Like, that's all of it. This is a... People have said that this is a haunted cemetery. Um, I've actually seen pictures where people have come out here at nighttime to ghost hunt and they'll see like red orbs in the woods and mists and I don't think anybody's ever caught an apparition but oh and they've also heard noises like got some newer headstones here recent flowers oh, 1957 1915 okay so those aren't that new but then you have this really old one right here. The ground is kind of sinking in. Uh, I can't tell if there's anything on that. There's a tree over it. I'll, let's see. There's a grave. One, two, three, four. So they don't even have names written on them. They're just stones. Every single person in this little cemetery, they're all related to each other. That's not marked. Holy crap, that scared me. Kitty, where'd you come from? That was just rude. <laughs> Meow meow. Thank you for giving me heart failure. <laughs> okay, so I'm finally doing my sloss video furnace. Um, sloss video furnace. <laughs> sloss furnace video. And I'm doing it during the daytime so y'all can actually see what it looks like. So. <laughs> when you look up sauce furnace, especially on YouTube, everybody does everything at night in the dark. Woohoo! I would suck if that fell on you. The furnace right there. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. One of the guys that used to work here, he was an overnight security officer. Yeah. He said that right here in this walkway is where he he said that he saw a slag and he felt like he tried to knock him down. Wow. Yeah. He said the air got really cold and it felt like something was sucking his chest. Like squeezing, like reached in squeezing his heart. Yeah, yeah, I remember that scene. Good. Restricted area. My screen keeps going off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, when you're driving by it on the highway, it doesn't look that big. And then when you're here, it's huge. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I'm sorry if this video turns out to be a little bumpy from the walking. I'm trying really hard to hold the camera steady. <laughs> That's not bad at all. See all those tables right there? It's directly under the, the water tower. Yeah, yeah, this is where they pushed, uh, what, slag? They pushed slag off and killed him. If you ever wanted to kill your boss, it's over there. He was up there on the catwalk. Oh, yeah. And they pushed him off. No climbing! It's always sad when you go somewhere like this and you're so excited and then so they're like no stay off don't touch don't do this don't do that I'm like okay I'm sorry Are we allowed to go in here? I haven't seen any signs saying otherwise yeah if you see me walking funny up and down steps it's because I have two injured knees oh it does feel good in here oh yeah this is part of the this lost right furnace 
that did upset me in that video we watched in there? Yeah. In Ghost Adventures, they make it out that, you know, they he goes all the way up there to the catwalk where they push slug off, and they said that they made him sign a waiver because it was so dangerous and da 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 Yeah. That video said that when they finally made the slug um, historical committee to save it, yeah. that they raised a bunch of money in Birmingham and they came and they everything mm. to make it in a fight. So I don't really think it was as dangerous as he made it out to me. Yeah. Whoa! That's sinking in right there. That was a little scary. Oh yeah. Ooh! Buttons! <laughs> yeah. I like the buttons. <laughs> It does. Yeah. I've heard a lot of ghost stories about this tunnel specifically, of people seeing walkers walking up and down. Like workers that had maybe died here. Yeah. Are you feeling? Do you feel funny? I feel muggy. I do. Yeah, I feel muggy. I don't know. I kind of have like this, almost like a cold chill. Spooky, y'all. <laughs> Very spooky. It does. I, I feel like I'm in the sewer. I, I don't remember. I keep feeling like there's somebody behind us. Ah, let's climb the stairs. Lord. And we started talking about the ghost stories we had heard. And one of the ghost stories was that um, workers would like go inside their the little furnace where you put the coal and you light it and they would have to go in there to clean it up and whatnot. Well sometimes when they would do that the doors would close behind them and they would have to take their metal tools and beat on the walls to say hey I'm in here somebody let me out. And I kid you not, as soon as, it was me and Sean, as soon as we started talking about that, all of a sudden we heard metal pings coming from over there. This ping, 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 and I was like, it's time to go home. <laughs> this is the, the bottom of the tower that they pushed slag off of. And then he fell into that. I think he's, this is boiler number one. He might have been terrified falling in, but he wasn't terrified for long. Yeah, number one furnace. around that we'll go back uh, there's like a walkway right there but we can go back around it a little bit okay, yeah yeah I can't remember where the um the entrance to the inside is because I know there's a lot of places like there's some um, there's where that turning wheel is that that guy who was eating lunch and it grabbed him and crushed him as it spun around. Yes, he was leaning against it. Yeah. yeah. Blowing engine building. No.
I saw that guy looking at his, whatever it is he's looking at. And I'm like, oh, I hope he's not a worker. I don't want to have to delete all my footage. <laughs> Look, there's steps over here. Can't go down them, but <laughs> I want to go down. Ooh, that's creepy. Oh, there's more over here. Huh? Like power? How they got power? Yeah, yeah, I think so. The flywheel. The flywheel, that's what caught that guy and crushed him to death. It's this way. These blowing engines were brought here in 1949. And they would get as, it would get as hot as 120 degrees in here. And it's only in like the low 80s today and I'm suffering. Yeah. Wow. Man, if I can open the window so I can put it Okay, this, uh, one of these, I'm not sure which one, is the flywheel. Basically, this fence wasn't here, and there was a guy, he was like leaning up against one of these things right here, eating his lunch with his back turned to it, and it was going really, really, really fast, and it ended up catching him and taking him down with it, and every time it came back around, there was less and less unless yeah they tried to stop it but it was like stopping the titanic it takes so long yeah that by the time they got it stopped he was yeah there was nothing left and suddenly my light comes in handy this is the flywheel Mm-hmm. Well, I've, yeah, if there's, there seems to be, like, ghost stories of people seeing workers just all over the place. It's almost this feeling of, like, I'm not supposed to be here. Like, as if it were an operation. <laughs> oh, watch the step right here. Let's get worship. Well, at least the birds are happy. Okay, that's where we came out at. So, there's this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we can. <laughs> as long as I'm attached to something. Fake owl. That's to keep the pigeons out. Mm. Right? Yes. <laughs> Man. Now no, that's a saw table. <laughs> Is right there. That is on my bucket list of things to see today. <laughs> oh my god, look! Look at his grinder. 2016. Alrighty, I guess uh, we'll go back this way. I don't know if it was like emo day and I missed the window. <laughs> 
it was down there but there was a pathway that we didn't take yeah, we didn't. but I don't know where that pathway is now because this is where we started yeah we came out really far down all right guys thank you for joining me on this sporadic walk around of Sloss Furnace I guess on that note I'll catch y'all next time stay spooky